I imbue each of my sculptures with great love, and I'm extremely proud of my paintings and sculptures. But one work stands out as the most important creation, both historically and symbolically. At the request of the Nobel family, I created the Heart of Peace to honor the 100th anniversary of the Nobel Peace Prize. This work is not only aesthetically beautiful, but it tells the very compelling story about where we came from, where we are now, and what course of action we must pursue in order to make this a better, safer, happier, healthier place for ourselves and for generations yet to come. Klaus Nobel, co-founder and chairman of World Peace One Foundation, is proposing that my sculpture, The Heart of Peace, reduced in scale, be presented annually as an award to people all over the world who have made the greatest contributions to world peace. He has also proposed that my sculpture be enlarged to monumental scale, hundreds of feet high in some cases, to be the central element in peace parks around the world, where people of all backgrounds will be urged to gather to work together towards goals of achieving universal brotherhood and a just and lasting world peace. And now I'd like to introduce you to this most extraordinary work. The heart of peace embodies and ennobles the story of the evolution of mankind. It makes visible and gives form and substance to the history of where we came from, how we drifted apart, and how we must reunite for the survival of our troubled world. We started at the base from a common core, sharing the same organic roots. Over the millennia, we branched out and grew in opposite directions, further and further apart. We divided ourselves by race, religion, and nationality. We established governments and borders we fenced and walled. We wanted what they had. We did not want to share what they needed. We exploited and destroyed our environment. We took nature's bounty and gave back waste and pollution. Wars ensued and everything we built started to crumble. Is it too late now? Can mankind be saved from its greed and folly? There is only one way. We must reverse the trend of history. We must recognize our commonality of background and need. We must tear down the artificial barricades that have been erected. We must start the process of growing back together as one people, united in peace, harmony, and solidarity. Only then will the world be safe for our children and our children's children. In my tribute sculpture, The Heart of Peace, I symbolically capture our common roots, our growing apart, and our rejoining together as one heart, one mind, one body, and one soul. I do not think of The Heart of Peace as an object. It is something that we have inside of us. It is a living, breathing, pulsating presence. Art breathes new life into the very soul of our souls. The great dream that I share with Klaus Nobel and so many others is that this symbol become a symbol of world unity shared around the globe. It will inspire people of all backgrounds to come together to fulfill our promise and realize our potential of love and peace for all. <laughs>